Okay, this is just a quick video to see how we can use uh, GeoGebra uh, to create a um, histogram. Um, this will be important, for, especially for our strip test assignment that we have coming up. So the way that we do that is you, know, you need to obviously download GeoGebra. You should all have that on your laptops. Um, and what, the way that it works is that we're going to use this data uh, that we've collected to put into a histogram. So what you need to do first is you have the view tab up here. You want to change that or you want to make sure that you add in a spreadsheet um, tab here so you'll see it come up over here on the side and what we need to do in there is put in our data so i've got a excel spreadsheet already created with the data from a trial i'm going to copy that across and then i'm going to place that into my uh, spreadsheet point here okay and you'll see that that goes all the way down to 25. so now i have my data I can, uh, you'll see that once that's been put in, you'll see a category up here change. Um, we want to put in this example here, which is a histogram, which is the one variable analysis. So we're going to go to the one variable analysis and make sure you uh, highlight all your data that you have here. Okay. I want to analyze all of that using the histogram. It comes up with the information that it has. You simply just click analyze. So what you'll see is that it comes up um, pretty quickly just with the histogram of all the information that you need. Now you'll see this slider here. Okay, this slider gives us how many different classes we have. So here it should be on five. So there's one, two, three, four, five. You want to sort of arrange it to around uh, eight or 10. So in this case, we're going to go on about eight um, points here or eight classes here. And you'll see that it changes there. So um, all that does is create the histogram. You can put that into your uh, uh, graphics view here. Otherwise, if you need to just um, use that for your assessment, you can just get a screenshot, screenshot around that, put that into your uh, document and make sure that you label the X, Y axes and also put a title at the top of that um, graph there. So that's how you create a histogram um, using GeoGebra. I'll give you a quick another pointer here gives us some pretty important information. If we click this show statistics tab, it's going to give you all the information that you'll need, um, especially in regards to showing the median, the mean, uh, gives you the range, so you have the uh, minimum number and the maximum number. So it gives you a lot of uh, really important information that you can use for your assignment there. So that's how you use GeoGebra to create a histogram.